So I want to go over quickly how Twitter works. It's very simple, and so that's why I think it creates so much confusion is because it's so simple that people, uh, people don't bother to explain it, and that's why so many people are confused by it. So what you're looking at here is the front page of, of Twitter when you first log in, and it says, what are you doing? And the whole basis of Twitter is that question, what are you doing? Um, and if you update this on a regular basis, you can do things like drive traffic to your website or just keep yourself in the front of mind of your prospects or, or other people that, that you know so that when they think of needing a certain business or certain service, they think of you first. So I might say uh, building a website for an interior designer. designer. Now, if I say that, then someone that might trigger someone's thought process. Oh, I know an interior designer. And then I hit update. Now you'll notice, and this is so widely covered, I'm just going to mention it, your posts have to be 140 characters or less. And it has a little countdown up here on the upper right, so as you type letters, it tells you, okay, you have less, 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 less. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. That's that's part of the, the beauty of, of the way Twitter works, is that because they're short messages, it's easy to digest information. I'll mention a couple of things. Your your uh, posts here should be uh, should be honest, and they should be conversational, and they should be if if you do any sales posts, they should be uh, spread out. You don't want to have all of your posts be check out this site, check out that site, or or uh, you know, buy this service from me or buy this product, you need to intersperse that with, you know, other updates. And, and what's really good here is for building anticipation. So, uh, for instance, on, this is my account too, Justin FM, and if I click on it, you, you can see I've been posting, I'm saying starting video training for Twitter. That's what I'm doing right this moment. Now, if I go back, now all the people on my list, all the people who are following me, will saw that update. And so if anybody's interested in, you know, video training for Twitter, then I'm starting to build anticipation. I'm not selling anything yet. I haven't said it's available. It's not available yet. Uh, and so it helps build anticipation. Also, hopefully people will... Uh, ask questions. This is another thing you can do on here is ask questions. Even though it says, what are you doing? Uh, people use it to post all kinds of different things. They don't necessarily answer that question. And so I think it's perfectly reasonable to say, um, you know, ask a question like, is there anybody, you know, what is your biggest question about Twitter or something? And people are able to reply back to that. And that's part of the function is that your list shows everybody's updates. So I see all these different updates from different people. And then you can reply back to them. You can actually click on, like, this is Dave Walker's site. And you, know, you can go back here and we're following him. And... Uh, if you want to reply back to Dave Walker on something, I'm going to go back here. Then when you click on, here, let's do it on one of mine so you can see it better. Uh, when you click on the post that they put, did, you can either mark it as, as a favorite or you can also reply by clicking that little backwards arrow there. 
And when you do that, it comes up and it puts a little at Justin FM, which you can just type in there as well. You don't have to hit the at reply because, you know, sometimes you might not have a message from them right handy. And uh, you can put in a comment. Reply. See, and that puts in the both. It shows mine in there, and it shows the person I replied to. Now, if I go back to the account over here, well, actually, it's not going to show up in here because I'm not following, um, I'm not following the fake profile, and so it, it's not going to show up there. But if it if it did, then uh, if I was following the buddy profile with my Justin FM profile, I'd see that in there. Either way, anybody who's following, you know, Buddy Friendmaker here will see that I replied back to Justin FM and they can click on it to say, well, I can't wait for what? What are they talking about? And then they may start following Justin FM. So that's how it kind of spreads virally. So that's the you know the basics. Why use it? Well, we'll get into that a little later. All the different uh, different ways. But right now, I'm just trying to give you an overview. How often should you update it? Uh, preferably at least once or twice a day. Uh, but again, that doesn't take very long. I have a timer running here. So if I think about um, completing set second video about setting up Twitter. I'm just trying to get a longer one going. See, now that post is a kind of common. That took less than 30 seconds. You can also post using uh, text messaging through your phone, and and uh, so that allows you to update it when you're you know waiting in line, waiting at a stop sign, depending on how fast you are at uh, texting. Don't do it while you're driving. Texting while you're driving is a very bad idea. Uh, but you're able to update it in a lot of different circumstances. So uh, when you head out to a meeting, you can post you know that you're heading out to that meeting. And that helps people get a better idea of who you are and uh, it might trigger interesting things for them. So that's all for this video. Thanks.